If you're one of those people that carries around a slightly obnoxiously large water bottle, then this one's for you. Here's a quick and easy way to add a convenient handle to your water bottle to make sure it's nice and easy to carry. I'll be making this handle for this one liter or 32 ounce Nalgene, but this method should work with just about any water bottle that has a lip around the neck for the paracord to catch onto. So let's weave. I've got my lengths of paracord and you can customize the handle size to your liking, but for my example, my handle is approximately 10 inches long, including the buckle. The buckle is 15 millimeters wide and it's just one of those plastic side release buckles. And I also have a cord lock. These come in different shapes and styles. This one looks like a dog's nose. But if you don't have any cord locks on hand, stick to the end of the video and I'll show you a paracord only alternative. I'm going to start off by wrapping my gray cord, which is going to be the collar, around the neck of the bottle. And this is just to get an idea of how big my loops need to be. And I'm going to remove it from the bottle and just loosely maintain the size of those loops. From here, I'm going to thread my cord lock onto the running ends of the cords and move the lock towards the loops. At this point, you can tie whatever stopper knot you wish, but I'm going to keep it simple by tying some snake knots. Holding the ends in my left hand, the top cord is going to wrap around the bottom cord, and then the bottom cord wraps up and over the top cord, and finally through the first loop made. We're going to pull that tight and cinch the snake knot up to that cord lock. I'm going to repeat that snake knot method a few more times for a total of five snake knots. But again, you can tie as many or as few as you like, but I would suggest at least two snake knots. Or if you're lazy, you can just tie a simple overhand knot. I'm gonna put this back onto my bottle again, just to double check the size and function. As you can see, it still fits and I can cinch up that cord lock to lock it down onto the bottle. Next, I'm going to take my longer orange cord and push the midpoint of that cord through one side of the buckle and pull a bite through. From there, I'm going to move both running ends behind the bite and then pull those cords through the bite and form a slingstone hitch. But you can just do a regular cow hitch if you prefer. From here, I'm going to measure out seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. But again, you can tailor this to your liking. With that measured out point, I'm going to pass the cords over the looped collar cords. Don't worry too much about the position as you can adjust it. But do be aware of the top side of the buckle in relation to the top side of the cord lock. I'm going to separate the two running cords to their respective sides. And then from there, start tying cobra knots. The right cord is going to pass over the core strands and under the left. Then the left cord passes behind the core strands and out the crook on the right. Firm up and tighten that first cobra knot but at the same time, try to maintain that same length of cord you measured out. Feel free to re-measure and double check after tightening. From there, continue the cobra knots. The now left cord passes over the front of the core strands and under the right. Then the right cord passes behind the core strands and out the crook on the left. Pull tight and we have our second knot. So that is the cobra knot pattern. And if you ever get lost, just remember whichever side has the vertical knot on it is the cord that's passing over the front. So I'm just going to continue tying my cobra knots towards my buckle and repeat that pattern and work your way down the core strands. With that side done, I'm going to repeat the exact same process on the other side but it's just going to be a lot shorter. This side is going to be about an inch and a half. And I say about because it's not a big deal if it's over or under. So the short orange cord gets hitched onto the other side of the buckle. And I'm just going to repeat the same method on the other side, but with a much shorter length. Pass the cords over the collar strands with that measured out length of one and a half inches. And then again, tie cobra knots going down the core strands until you reach the buckle. I've now got both sides done. You can snip and melt the cords where they are, or in my case, I'm going to do the clean finish. 
So on the back of the Cobra weave, I'm going to loosen the last Cobra knot. And whichever cord is on the outer side of the Cobra knot, I'm going to pass that under the last cord so that it's now coming out at the same spot of the opposite cord. Then from there, I can snip and melt the cords and press down on them to lock them in place. I'm going to, of course, repeat the same process on the other side, the shorter side, and do the clean finish, snip and melt the cords and press down on them to lock them in place. Now we can adjust the positions of the Cobra knot sections so that they're directly across from each other. You can just pull the collar cord to adjust and from there we can put the handle onto our water bottle and cinch up the cord lock. Oh and of course if there's any excess cord on the tail ends of the snake knots you can trim those as well. So there we have our paracord cobra knot bottle handle. It works very well. You can unbuckle the handle when you're drinking from it and it makes for a very secure way to carry your water bottle. Great, especially for hiking or camping situations. You can even use this handle to attach the bottle to a bag if you don't have one of those water bottle pockets. Lastly, if you don't have a cord lock, you can make your own with just a piece of paracord. Just gather your collar ends and tie a small cobra knot section about half an inch or so and that should do it. And don't tie the knots too tight. Make them just tight enough so that the cobra knot section can slide along the cords. You can even use a thinner cord if you want a smaller paracord cord lock. Hope that helps.